Hello and welcome back. Right, I said I spent a couple of days trying to work this out, and I have. And I've tried everything under the sun to get this uh, rather useless thermodomaton to work. And it has nothing. As you can see, I'm clicking on stuff, nothing's appearing. So, what I'm going to have to do is do things the hard way. Now, I'm trying to avoid the work, but I'm just not going to be able to do it. So, what I'm going to do is a bit of necromancy. I'm going to try and bring this befuddled book back to the land of the living the hard way. And it has been the hard way. I spent two days on it. So any likes, comments, subscribes be greatly appreciated. So what I'm going to do is hopefully, as I now click on the icons, things should actually turn up. <laughs> Touch wood if my editing skills are up too much. Now I'm pretty certain I've got great wood, so I'll click on that. Something should now be appearing on the screen, which tells you a bit about the Greatwood. Um, then, I should think, I've, uh, well you might have to sort of pause and zoom in to read the bits and pieces if you want to. I mean, there's a limit to what I can do. Aspects of Magic next. Should be able to manage that one. I think. <laughs> uh, moving on to the Silverwood. Give that a click. Something nice should be appearing in this corner up here, hopefully. The Aura. I'm not 100% sure I've got all of the aura, but we'll see. I might have any other page two, whatever. But, coming down, Shimmer Leaf, which I believe is a nice short one. So, we've got that one now. Flux, which I'm pretty certain I've got as well. Moving on to Cinder Pearl. Research complete. And Infused Ore. Now I won't bother about the quartz, because uh, it's just a building material for a minute. I will go over it later if you particularly want me to. Uh, rainwater, this is an interesting one. Uh, it's just a bottle of water, no, just a bottle, you click it when it's raining and you will collect a bottle of rainwater. It's not much good for most things, but it's the only thing that you can actually study the uh, era, e -A -E -R -A or something, because it's got that aspect on it. So it might be sort of worth it, but I don't think you'll sort of need it to start with, so it's something we'll go over later. Uh, right, on to Knowledge Fragments. We give them a click. And hopefully something should pop up. Uh, enchantments, I believe we got them as well. Uh, research Table. I didn't bother with Research Table. You know how to do that. You know how to do Scribing Tools. Uh, arcane Workbench. Uh, glass Files, we'll give. Yep, I'm pretty certain of that. You know how to make a normal because I've already done it. The Tables have already done the crucible we've already done and we've already done the one of the apprentice so those we don't need right um i'm going to click on tin ore but you're going to get iron ore because that's the one i grabbed but they're all pretty similar so it doesn't really matter if i remember right there's a two appears uh beside the little nugget at the top i think you ignore that i think that's just a a quirk with it i think the only oddball one out of them is gold and when we find it i'll add gold to it uh basic transportation uh, I believe we got that. I don't think that's much of anything. Uh, oh, thormium. We haven't got thormium yet. I have got it, but I won't add it. Right, coming on down here, we have got elementium, so I'll give it one of them. Because that's a useful one. It's one of the first ones you get. We have got night ore. So you should have night ore now as well. And I think we have got basic, trans uh, basic alchemy. Sorry. If not, it won't show up. And I'm just talking the hell of it. Uh, I think that's all um, no, these are all still flashing. That's all you've got at the moment. I've got more, but as we sort of research them and get them uh, we'll actually go into the moment. Right, just to make sure that what we're getting is correct I'm going to go over there and we'll see if we can make some night ore. Now, from the little thing you had I'm pretty certain that all we need is four fire, four uh, that fist with the lightning bolt, which I can't remember, it, and six lux. Now I happen to know that uh, Cole at InShift has two fire and two of the fist with the lightning bolt. We also get one rock, so whatever. And I also know that torches happen to have one lux. So if we go for, let's have a look, where are we? Two, we want four of them, so two coal and six torches, we should actually get what we need. So we'll have that. 
six torches. Right, six. And I believe we need our wand for this as well, if I remember rightly. It's been a while since I've used this one. So we'll have our wand out. And we should, hopefully, let's walk right up to here. E, we will bung that in there. Aha! Oh, it went in, it went in. We will take the hat off for the next bit. Bung those in there. Yes. Uh, we then tap it with our wand. And we should, I assume we actually got it straight into our inventory, have two, two, one night or. That is brilliant. Now, let's see if Night Ore does what I wanted to do. First off, I better go and grab a bucket. Did I put a bucket in here? It's a sort of logical thing I would have done, but it isn't. Uh, tools. Nope, tools. Nope. Up the top are you? Another large explosion. Just what I needed. Tools. We'll have a bucket. Uh, no, put the rest of you back. Don't need the rest of you. We'll grab a bucket of water. Let's take out that. And you. I don't think we need you. And we're going to stick. We'll make a bit more mess. What the hell? Come on. Oh! I thought that was going a bit wrong. Oh, God, here we go. Right, come on, where are you? You annoying little toad. Finished, have we? Oh, I hate them things. Right, let's put our night ore under there. Isn't that pretty? I do like night ore. Right, now we're going to get our bucket of water. Just to check it's all working alright. Because I know that later on, Thorncraft, this will actually heat up water. But we'll check it, does it? Dum -de dum Any type of dabby nice? It does. There we go. And no fire risk, no burning down my house or any available trees. <laughs> um, no, I'm not saying that, that was aimed for. <laughs> oh, nice, neat, tidy. And uh, you can use these as lights as a bit of pieces. I haven't really found much other use for them, but again, you can actually make them, research them. I mean, it would make sense to make another one and research. Uh, I mean, you don't need to do that with this, do you? It's all research the other way. Sorry, I'm thinking of the thermometer. meter. But everything's working fine, and we have managed to raise the thermometer coming from the dead. Which is brilliant. Um, let's start a bit of research, shall we? What should we research? Ah. Um, coal? Eh, let's put a bit of coal in. Ah, what we found? Any ideas? Gaseous glowstone. Now I've got a feeling that isn't even a normal thorncraft thing, but it is in this. But uh, gaseous glowstone, I'm not quite sure what's involved in that. But I'm assuming glowstone will be. But I'm assuming Lux might be. Oh, there's them torches. Let's have that coal out of there. I've got plenty of torches. There's a good chance Lux will be in it. Yeah, come on. Yes, Lux is in it. Brilliant. Um, what's it say about it? Research intricacies of the light, a power for you know, close to make a way of finding completely invisible light. Okay. Why do I get the feeling void or something like that is involved in this? I've got a feeling feathers or something might be of assistance to us here. I'm not sure how many feathers I've got. Where they would be if I've got them. Oh, I've got 40 feathers. I've got a funny feeling they might be of use to us. I'm not checking my notes or nothing, so I should do really, but let's have a look. Feathers. It's just off the top of my head. Oh, I thought so. It's the aura. Right, and we've got it. Gaseous glowstone. Which I don't think I've actually got the image for yet, but never mind, we'll have a look at it. We're researching using of light, paying off, you are close to finding a way of making completely invisible light. Bing, we've learnt it. If we check our thermonomicon, gaseous glowstone. Ah, oh, ah, we've got that one. Amazing. 
bit. This file contains concentrated extracts of gaseous glowstone that can be extracted through the right click. Uh, it will spread relatively fast uh, in all nearby areas and light it up. Now that sounds interesting. What's it need? Two glowstone, one glass file, and one night ore. This file contains concentrated. Uh, it can be released through a right click. Now, on how long it lasts? Never used it. Five bits. Hmm. Okay. Well, there we go. That's actually one that works. So I'm assuming that must be a Tinkerer's Construct one. Uh, yeah. Thermic Tinker or something like that. Uh, <laughs> TT. Shiny Air. Research completed. So those ones, it appears, will show up. It's just the normal Thorncraft ones that won't. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we're back on track. But right now, I've sort of had my fill of form craft for the minute. I'm going to now concentrate. We're going to put the book away. I will come back to it. Don't worry. I haven't abandoned form craft by any stretch of the imagination. But I actually want to get on with uh, a bit of Tinker's Construct because we've got this lovely smeltery doing its thing. Is there anything left in it at the moment or is it all done? No, it's still full 54 ingots. So that'll be... I've probably got... No, I've taken them all now, have I? Fair enough. So, anyway, that will do its bit. <coughs> I will drain that. The tank's looking fine. All the tank's looking fine. Um, and then we'll get back on making a couple of um, uh, different bits and pieces using various metals. I think I might make... I think I'm okay for iron at the moment, if I remember rightly. And if I am, I might just make an iron hammer to sort of get in with, because it's reasonably cheap to repair. Yeah, I think we're pretty good for iron. So we might make an iron hammer for the minute. It should last a reasonable amount of time. And we can make a really fancy one after that. But just, just for general mining and bits and pieces could be handy. And I also want to try and find some... Uh, uh, what's that green cobblestone called? Because uh, that will give me the ability to add self-repair to it. I'll show you how to do that as well. So, I'll be back in a little bit when we're ready to start off with this. I just wanted to sort of make sure all this works and uh, then I can stick it through the editor. And hopefully, please, it'll all come out right. So, see you soon. Hello, back again. Right, I had a little play around uh, in between. I know I've only gone for a couple of seconds, if that. But uh, just a little experiment. One of the things I have been experimenting with, I'm going for the rotted flesh motif in this room. So I've knocked up a few... Um, Dryers, I think they're called. Now, they are done. Um, wood. That was. Oh, here I've got some jungle wood slabs. I will give you a quick demonstration of how they're done. Right, what you do is you take three jungle wood slabs, cross like that, and it gives you a drying rack. No, it doesn't. This is ultimate expansion, so it gives you a blind part. Alright, so you think, ah, that's extremely annoying. So what you do is you work out the equivalent in wood, dump it, use any eye to uh, conjure in the drying racks. But, <laughs> it's uh, down to you how you want to do it, but that's pretty much how I did it. Uh, I went and decimated a few jungle trees and sort of did that. Uh, I'm assuming oak wood would have done the same. I must admit, I don't know if I've got enough oak wood to check that. I'll be annoyed if it has, if it doesn't. Uh, oak wood. Oakwood planks. What is that? That's jungle wood. We will check this. Just use up a bit of oakwood planks. Uh, across there. We have six slabs. Thank you. We'll put them across there. And it still gives us blind parts. So there we go. Come on, pick them up. Thank you. So, uh, so the only way you can get these drying racks. They haven't actually done anything yet. I, I think you just hang zombie meat on them, from what I gather. Maybe I'm wrong with that one, but it hasn't turned into jerky as of yet. Which is quite annoying. If I just check, hang on, let's just do a, a quick check on this. Um, flesh. Where are we? Seasoned flesh, cooked flesh. Uh, cooked flesh, doesn't sound about jerky, does it? I wonder if I can just type jerk, see what happens. Uh, flesh jerky. Let's do it with an iron salve. 
thing. You didn't say anything about. But I mean, that's what you're meant to do with it. I don't think I've got any actual normal meat floating around at the moment. I could actually whiz upstairs and get some, but that's not what we're here for. That's just me going off on a tangent. What we are here for is to start doing something interesting with um, uh, what do you call it? Tinker's construct. The book you need for this is the one you should have already gotten by now when you build that is Mighty Smelting. This will tell you your alloys and how to build your tanks and various other bits and pieces of layouts for it all. It's great. It doesn't tell you about the little automated parts I stick on there but you've seen them now anyway so. But, um, we're looking for aluminium brass to start with. The most useful bits and pieces out of it and we're then going to be looking at this alamite. Is alamite? Yeah alamite I said. Five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. I hopefully got enough to build uh, the hammer I want to build out of this stuff because uh, that is severely useful. Right, uh, where are we? Escape. So we've got aluminium we got last time. What I'm going to do is for three aluminium. Uh, I think it's what it said: three aluminium and one copper. So we've got nine aluminium in a block. Why have I got all twenty blocks on me? I don't need all 20 blocks. I'm going to bunk one aluminium, in there, one aluminium, or aluminium if you're American, and three copper. They should quite happily cook up. Is that copper not cooking? Is this the wrong type of copper? I think this is the only copper I've got. Urgh, this could be annoying. Hey. Okay. We might have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery again. Right, what have I got? It appears that's the only copper I've got. Let's just check something. COP. Copper. We've got that copper there, which is 26507, which is what this is. Have we got any other copper? I'm not seeing any other copper. So why are you not smelting? Ah, oh, hang on. There is another copper. A darker one. Okay, um How are we gonna do this? Right. <laughs> Here we go. Uh recipe mode, utility mode, cheat mode. Done. Let's take this up to sixty four. Can I do this with a well, no, I can't got to do it the hard way. Oh well. Um, let's just take it up to 30. Right. I'm going to have 30 of you. Thank you. And then we're just going to dump 30 of you. That's fair enough, isn't it? Right, that should give us 30 of the other copper ingots. Oy, oy, oy. This pack drives me insane. Options. Back to recipe mode. I'm glad I've flipping got any eye on this. I'll tell you, it makes life so much blooming easier. Alright, uh, let's, uh, whoa! Okay, I'm not quite sure what that one was. That was a, it wasn't a world tick one, that was just a, an oddball random crash. Uh, hamburger man, you really need to debug this mod pack. So, we've got our aluminium in there. Let's try our three copper. Oh, no, one, two, three. Now, little red line, please. Thank you. This is more like it. Right, I have got an iron ingot on me as well. Don't think I need the one for the minute. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bung our iron ingot over here. And we're going to start making some of our plates. Uh, what we're going to need, we're going to need you. Actually, we can put you down there. We'll get all this stuff out of here. We want a hammer mould. Now, I know that the hammer will take, um, uh, I think it's eight ingots worth to create, but I don't think the plate actually takes eight ingots worth. So, this will do us a good start. This should be more than enough liquid to get us going. Is that done its business now? Yep, everything's melted, right. So, let's start off the first thing, the most important thing, is there ingot mould? That way we can actually get stuff out when we need to. 
We'll put you back in there for the minute. Uh, no, we won't. We're going to need you, aren't we? Right, let's have our pickaxe head. Thank you. We'll have our hammerhead. This is why I haven't all made this side yet. It's easier to just do it by hand for the minute. Right, no, come on. Don't muck me about. Our plate. Our binding. Did I do the binding or did I just make a thing? I just made a blank cast. Pillock. Wasn't paying attention. Our binding and our tool rod. Have we run out? Ah, we can't have run out. There was tons of it in there. We have run out. Oh well, we'll do it again. Not a problem. Oh well, we're now. Uh, one block of aluminium. Uh, where's our copper gone? Which one is it? It's this one, isn't it? Yep. One, two, three. Happily smelt that down. Keep an eye on here. There it all is. Can't re you can see, I suppose. I'm going to have to start doing my copper ore in here. That way it gives me the right copper. Normally they don't seem to mind, but I'm assuming it's something to do with a uh, Ultimus expansion. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. <laughs> right, that's our alley done. Come on, copper. This should give me more than that. Actually, I could have redone the... Uh... Come on, you as well. Thank you. We're going to crash again for a minute there. Right, and we'll have our tool rod. Now we'll just go and check, see if there's anything else we need for that hammer. Let's have a look. Hammer. Uh, we've got, that's a tough tool rod, isn't it? And I think I've got the tough, wooden tough, tough rod. That's wooden tough rod. Let's have a quick check of um, you. You're the hammer. Next pattern. Uh, flicking through these. That's, that's a knife blade. Chisel. Now, that's a tough tool rod pattern. Does it need a tough tool rod pattern? Or does it just need a wooden tough rod? This always confuses me, these two. I think, I'm sure there's two of them. No, there isn't. There is only the one. Oh, no, there isn't. Previous pattern. Tool rod pattern. We've got the tough one. So I'm pretty certain we need the tough one. Right. Hey. Now, if we have a quick look back at our book. Where are you? There you are. We're going to see that what we need on our recipes. Let's have a look. Alamite. Uh, five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. Now, I'm not sure if obsidian doubles up. So, for a start, let's go and clear out what we've got in here. Uh, where are we now? Um, I want to use... I don't think I've got nine left in there. I haven't got nine left in there, guaranteed. So if I use that, we'll just pick up the rest of it in ingots. Just to clear it out. Thank you. Is that... No, it's not all of it. Thank you. How many more's in there? Can't, oh, it's three ingots. Okay. So we'll get that done. <coughs> I'm not quite with it. It's a bit early in the morning and I spent most of yesterday working on uh, well, the first part of this video. So, head's not going. That's it, right. So we're going to put all you lot back in here for the minute. Or are we? Because there's not an awful lot of room in there, is there? How much more room have I got? I've got plenty of room. I've got any wood on me. Or have I used it all on Four, five, six. Oh, I've got 33 jungle wood, that will do. Let's just quickly extend that a bit. So I can keep all the bits and pieces in it for a minute. It will need sorting out at some point, but at least we'll get rid of all that. Don't need you, or you. Uh, we'll keep... No, don't. Uh, copper. Now, you're the copper we can't use. I have to remember that. So I'm going to put the copper we can use in here for the minute. Uh, stick the alamite back in there. You, 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 you. 
be right back, that's it all. Right, sorry about that. Uh, milkman. <laughs> Wanted paying. Right, so this is all cleared out now, isn't it? Everything's all gone. Right. First thing I want to do um, is grab the materials I'm going to need for a start. Now, I've got six obsidian. I'll keep you out of the way. It was obsidian, iron, and aluminium, wasn't it? So let's grab some iron as well. And we've we'll got 27 iron. Right, what I do want to do is bung an obsidian in here because I never can remember for the life of me whether I get one or two out of an obsidian. And this should tell me how many I'm going to Well, help me work out the figures of what I'm going to need. Because I say these are about eight apiece. I think it did tell me while well, it's cooking that. It does tell me in here, if I remember rightly. If we go to the hammer, uh, plates. No, it doesn't tell me in that one. Maybe it tells me in this one. Uh, next, 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 and next. Right, plate. They all think they're all the same. Cost eight material. Right, so. That's not too bad. Right, obsidian. Come on, have a melt. I want to know how many I get. Whether it's one ingot or two. I'm hoping it's two. That should help me work out exactly what I do need, how many I need. Dum de dum! It's not as if you've been short on lava, you've got bundles of it. I took two bleeding rope trips with seven buckets. <sighs> there we go, right. So what does that give me? Two ingots worth. Right, so I'm getting doubled up on the obsidian as well. Good. I never can remember. So now I'm going to quickly work out how much we need. A uh, bit of paper, paper, paper and uh, then we'll do it. Right, done me working out. And from what I gather, I'm going to need three obsidian, which we've already got two of them in there. Done. Right. 15 aluminium as a block and six of them. And six iron. Hopefully that should all work out perfectly to give us what we want. I'm hoping. <laughs> you are a tough tour, aren't you? Tough tour rod cast, yes. I'm going to make the whole thing out of uh, that. I mean, it's not going to be the ultimate hammer I'm going to be using. But it should be a definite kick-ass hammer. And we'll go and give it a test. And I'll take a little whiz around and see if I can find some mossy cobbles. Actually, is there any mossy cobblestone in here? There should be mossy cobblestone in here. There's mossy this, that, and the other. Mossy brick. I don't know if that'll do it for us. Oh. Mossy cobblestone is usually the thing. I'll try a bit of mossy brick. Maybe it'll work. Where are we now? Just waiting on the two obsidian. Uh, Malta Balabite three ingots worth and the rest of it should be aluminium and bits and pieces but it should all turn into alamite hopefully I think it's 27 I need isn't it? 9 that's not going to do it um, ok um, oh, I don't know what I did that for but come on, pick them up again right, eight, let's turn another one of you so we want the three of them. Uh, we'll turn another one of you into nine. Right. What have we got? Uh, one. So that's nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And again another six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go and do that again. Repeat it. I'm not quite sure the ratios. That's the only problem. So do that. One block. And six of the others. Okay, sorry about this. It's a bit of a pause. But that will give us nine. That's two nines at 18. How many did I need? I needed more than that. Okay, I'll be back when I've done enough. Just carrying on doing the same thing. I might even have to go and get some more obsidian. 
Hmm. I'll have to go and get some more obsidian from that nice little crater we've got outside. But I will be back when we've got it all ready and it's all melted up. And I've got the right amount of ingots. <laughs> so, ah, poxy ratios. Never can remember them. Okay, right. Back and we've got the stuff we need. Uh, right, let's come out of that. Let's go and start building what we need to build. Uh, what are you? You're the hammerhead. What have you? Takes a bit longer because there's a lot more to fill up. No, I'm not sure it should take this long. Please don't tell me there's another. F this will be the final straw. This will be the final straw. What is going on? Come on. Come on. It shouldn't take this long. Ay ay ay! And it's used up every single bit of it. And it hasn't produced it. Amazing. Absolutely bloody amazing. Every single thing I try to do on this bleeding pack doesn't work. Oh, um. I think my patience has finally run out. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'm just hitting a dead end continuously. I mean, I could conjure an alamite hammerhead. But I've just used 27 flipping alamite, which was a pain to make anyway. Okay, it was handy having the flipping obsidian outside the front door, courtesy of the meteorite mod. But um, the amount of work I put into this, you wouldn't believe. Um, mm. Okay, right, I'm leaving it to people. I'm personally reached the end of my tether with trying to like work around the various bits and pieces that are wrong with his pack but if people are enjoying it and they want me to carry on I will if they don't mind if they don't mind I will happily abandon it and wait till this pack has been I won't destroy the world or nothing I will just literally call it a day until this pack has been updated and hamburgers been through and sorted out some of the various numerous bugs in his pack and there's no point telling me to lob more flipping ram at it because it's not curing the problem believe me so, <coughs> just leave a answer in the comments. Do I carry on and try and work around it and just cheat the bits and pieces in I need? Because it's getting ridiculous. I don't particularly like cheating stuff in, but this pack is just causing me to have to do that. Or uh, do I give in until this pack has been updated? I'll keep an eye on the pack. And I mean, it's a fantastic pack. All the bits and pieces together are fantastic, but Christ, does it need some debugging? So, uh, bang! Not good, bang head on wall. <coughs> Burn head on torch. Okay, well, leave me comments, let me know, and uh, I will keep an eye on it, and I'll keep an eye on the pack, and keep an eye on this video, and see what people say, and if I carry on or not carry on. But until that time, looks like I'm going into Horizons, so I've got the technology I need in a pack that's stable enough I need, and I can then carry on from there. And it's Formcraft 4 as well, which means the research is going to be totally different. So all the hard work I point. Oh no! <sighs> Not good. Bye then, people.